Guys, during the weeks of beta, Chiori gained the infamous reputation as one of the least typed 5 stars we've ever seen in the game. The reason is that she simply wasn't what people were expecting her to be. Whenever this happens for an upcoming character, the hype train tends to lose steam pretty fast. The result of that is that the discourse starts revolving more around how angry people are at whatever the heck Hoyoverse is doing rather than the actual value of the character. So I'm here today to bring some clarity about Chiori and uh, make you figure out if she's worth to pull for your account. First of all, Chiori's archetype is that of a sub DPS that deals most of her damage through turret type attacks. In a way, she's very similar to Yae Miko, in that uh, most of her kit revolves around the fact that she can deal a lot of off-field damage. This is actually a pretty rare type for Genshin, so a 5-star off-field DPS that only revolves around damage, because usually they also come with supporty capabilities. Characters like Yiran, Furina, Nahida, all 5-stars that come with pretty good off-field damage and also quite nice support. Heck, even Albedo, another Geo sub DPS, also comes with elemental mastery support. For many of these units, the support they provide is a big part of what makes them good. The reason is that they're often providing utility for a strong on-field damage dealers, and that's where the main part of the team damage is coming from. Not only as a baseline, the main carry is the best part of the team when it comes to damage output, but also is the one character that people will most likely overinvest in to improve their team results. And in those scenarios, the buffs the off-field characters can provide become extra valuable. So at a glance, it sucks quite a bit that Chiori has none of this, but I'll make the case that in her niche she's still quite powerful. Her niche is very specific, even more specific than it is for most Geo units. As I said earlier, she deals turret type damage and that's all activated by her elemental skill. After using her skill, she will summon a puppet on field that will deal damage to opponents every 3.6 seconds for a total duration of 17 seconds. Here is the kicker though, if there is a Geo construct on field, the skill will summon an extra pop. It. This puppet will deal damage in the exact same way the first one does, so it basically doubles her elemental skill damage. And on top of that, she will also be getting a 20% geo damage bonus, so that's pretty convenient. Now, this isn't all there is to her, because uh, the first passive also adds some elemental skill hits, and her elemental burst is a nice nuke, but the bottom line here is that uh, if you can generate the second puppet for the elemental skill, her damage will just be below average by meta standards, while if you can, she becomes pretty good. All of this restricts her niche to two types of teams mainly. First is a mono geo team with a geo main DPS that is very likely to have a geo construct user on it. The second is about all the teams that use Zhongli, because a Zhongli can summon a construct through its elemental skill and so a double geo core can be formed there. For the first type of teams, so for example Ito teams, I will go as far as saying that the Chiori is a very good character. True, she doesn't offer any support or utility, but the thing is, her damage on this teams is pretty great. Actually, a better term would be uncharacteristically great. The reason is that on these types of teams, it's not easy to find good off-field DPS. And that's because the great focus there is on these teams in terms of supporting the geo damage characters are dealing makes it hard for typically great sub DPS to be slotted in and be as good as they usually are. Characters like Fischl and Yenan can be used, but they won't feel nearly as good as they are on their main teams. And honestly, even a synergistic one like Albedo is not that great. In comparison, Chiori just crushes them on these teams. She deals substantially more damage than Albedo that was the previous best sub DPS for this type of teams. Additionally, she's also much more consistent in terms of damage because uh, Albedo's flower can be destroyed by certain enemies, mostly bosses, while uh, the same can't apply to Chiori. This also makes her more consistent in terms of particle generation, which is great for a character like Ito. I know that Ito Mono Geo teams aren't the most popular nowadays, uh, mostly for good reasons, but the thing here is that the Chiori is providing an unprecedented damage increase for a sub DPS in terms of team damage increase. Again, this is mainly because she doesn't have great competition in the role, so her damage looks very big in comparison to the alternatives. But still, my hot take here is that she will improve the team enough that it will feel quite good in general. Like, not a top meta team, but a pretty durable one with a nice damage on top. I want to clarify that she's not a clear Albedo replacement because they can still be used together on this team. Ito is a pretty durable character thanks to his defense, so you don't have to bring a defensive option like Jungli, especially since Goro can heal a bit through the constellation 4. So you can technically play Albedo and Shuri together and it can work. This also translates very well to other types of 
themes like a Noelle themes. Noelle is a character that pretty much found greatness thanks to Furina because she can heal the whole theme through normal and charge attacks and of course this synergizes very well with Furina fan first attacks generation. Commonly on these themes she's used with Goro in order to maximize the geo damage she's dealing. However, Chiori wouldn't be able to fit very well in a team with a Noelle, Goro and Furina because there will be no construct. That's why the composition will be Noelle, Albedo, Chiori and Furina and truthfully it's looking pretty nice. Even when backed by Goro, Noel isn't doing that much damage in terms of single target damage, so replacing Goro with Chiori that is a major sub DPS can be good for the team. Still, Noel is first and foremost an AoE damage dealer and of course Goro buffs all of that. Since Chiori is mainly a single target damage dealer, I wouldn't be surprised if Goro performed better in AoE situation. But yeah, for these types of teams, especially the Ito team, she can be a pretty strong pull. For the second type I talked to you about, so the double geo core with Chun Li, she's usable I guess. While of course she's still much stronger than Albedo here, the competition in general is much bigger. It's honestly hard to tell which teams can benefit from double geo cores to begin with because it's a pretty obsolete concept. Characters like Hu Tao and Xiao come to mind since back in the day they used its double geo teams quite a bit, but nowadays they found their homes in much more stable places. And while Chiori is a pretty nice buff for the double geo core, it doesn't make it an exciting alternative to me for all of these characters. So it's an option, just not a must pull one, I guess. So in her niche, Chiori ranges from pretty decent to quite great, but outside of her niche, it's pretty much the opposite. Her damage just takes a big hit in these situations and it becomes pretty comparable to Albedo's, who's not really popular in the meta. A pairing many people were looking for was the Navia Chiori one. Navia isn't a construct user, so she can't magnify Chiori's damage through that, but she likes to have a second Geo on team, both because they can battery her and because of the Geo resonance. So characters like Albedo's Beidou and Zhongli can find their place on Navia teams and be the best options offensively. Since Chiori in this scenario is comparable to Albedo, she becomes one of these best options, so it's not that bad, I guess. Still, I don't think it's a big feat to be comparable to Zhongli offensively, considering all the stuff Zhongli brings offensively to the team, but good news, you can fix that by getting Chiori's Constellation 1, which basically removes the construct requirement from her kit and also allows her to get the 20% geo damage bonus from the passive. Ah, so there is a path to make Chiori good on Navia teams, just spend money. Hmm. Jokes aside, I talked about this constellation plenty and I think it's just scummy. It's just that to put a restriction like that in her base kit and then remove it completely to the constellation one, it's just kinda disgusting to me honestly. Navia is a recent character and many people were looking for this pairing between Chiori and Navia, so it's a clear money bait. Of course, it's your choice. If you want to get Chiori's constellation one, then she becomes a very good pattern for Navia, much better than the alternatives, but otherwise she's not worth the pull in my opinion, for this team. And that's it. I think I said everything. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also the new Wuthering Waves channel I made. Also, I made a Hyperbloom video analysis recently, so please go check that and uh, peace.